Hey, what's up, guys? I'm sure everyone by now has had a chance to check out the Chimera Jailbreak, and either good or bad reviews have probably come from it. But I know there's a lot of users that A, are either running into errors, or B, just want to unjailbreak for the time being until some stability updates are pushed. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys two awesome ways to unjailbreak your devices and return back to stock iOS. So before we get into this video, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Again, definitely check out our Best Tech Info article for a written tutorial of this video if you guys just wanna breeze through that. Anyway, let's get directly into things. So here we are on the home screen. We are currently in the jailbroken state. As you guys can see, I have a lot of tweaks, actually all the same tweaks from my top tweaks video that I did yesterday. Again, if you guys want to check out some of the awesome things you can do on this jailbreak, definitely check that video out. Anyway, let's get into unjailbreaking. So if you guys notice, when you're currently jailbroken and you go into the Chimera application, there's no option to actually restore the root file system. And that's okay if you guys just wanna do that and completely unjailbreak your device. All you have to do is restart your devices and select that option. And that's what we're going to be doing at the very end of this video. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you guys an alternative route that you can take, which is kind of a temporary solution to unjailbreak your device, but it makes it really easy if you guys want to return to your jailbroken setup and have all of your tweaks installed. And I'm of course talking about snapback. Now, this creates a root file system snapshot. It actually reads the ones that the Chimera jailbreak made before actually jailbreaking. And that's this top one right here called ORIGFS. Now, if you guys wanna return back to stock iOS, all you have to do is simply tap on that and it will return you completely back to stock iOS. And A, you can either remain there and use applications that have jailbreak detection like Pokemon Go or any banking app or anything like that. And then if you guys wanna to return to a jailbroken state, you can re-jailbreak with Chimera, you can install Snapback once again and select a different snapshot that you've created. Now to create a snapshot, all you have to do is click the plus icon, give it a name. So I'll just name this one test for now. And there we have it, it is created. That's all good to go. Now, the only thing you have to know before using this application is your device has to be at least 50% charged and or plugged in and charging. So I'm currently at 53%, I'm gonna grab a charger. All right, now that we're plugged in and charging, again, to restore back to stock iOS, again, this is my personal recommendation if you guys wanna do this. It makes it really easy to return back to your jailbroken setup if you guys wanna use that in the future. Anyway, to do it, we just click on that, we click on jump to snapshot, and we click yes. And then it's going to perform the process of restoring the root file system snapshot that was created pre-jailbreaking. So I'll let this do its thing and I'll be right back. Now, not to fear if your device just kind of crashes out of the application once it finishes, just go ahead and manually reboot. Not to fear that happens to me too, but the restore has actually completed. All we have to do is just reboot our devices. All right, so once our device has turned back on, again, just enter your passcode and we'll be taken to the home screen. And as you guys can see, all of your jailbreak applications that you installed either via Cilio or Cydia have all been removed. So has the actual package installers, Cilio and Cydia. They're also entirely gone off of your device. You guys are entirely back on stock iOS. All of your applications that have jailbreak detection now will work perfectly fine. Anyway, if you don't want to re-jailbreak, you can pretty much just delete the Chimera jailbreak application off of your device. Again, this was just sideloaded, but if you guys want to return to your jailbroken setup or to a different one, here is how to do that very quickly. You go back into the application, you re-jailbreak, and once you have re-jailbroken again, we can head into Cilio, go to Sources, click the plus tab, and manually enter or add, I guess, the Midnight Chips repository. Again, make sure to pull down to refresh the sources, and there we go. Now we can go to Search right here. We can type Snap Back. There we go. We can select that one right there, click Git, 
Go to our queue and install that guy. Click done once it's finished. Go back to our home screen and open up Snapback. And there we have it. There are all of our other snapshots right there and we can easily restore back to our jailbroken setup. So bear with me here. I'm gonna go ahead and restore to that. It says either delete snapshot or jump to snapshot. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click jump to snapshot. Again, make sure your device is plugged in and charging and or over 50% battery. It successfully restored, but once again, the application crashed out. So we'll go ahead and manually restart our device. And once our device is back online, again, enter our passcode. But now all we have to do is re-enable our jailbreak for the final time. And there we have it, guys. We are back to our original setup once again. So that's how easy it is to un-jailbreak and re-jailbreak your devices. Now, like I said at the very beginning of this video, there is an actual thing built into the Chimera jailbreak to un-jailbreak your devices entirely and now to access this option, we actually have to restart our devices or just not be in the jailbroken state. So if you guys don't have your jailbreak enabled, this step is not required, but if your jailbreak is currently enabled, just restart your device. So once it has restarted, now if you go into the Chimera jailbreak, if you scroll down, maybe not that far, now you have this option right here, either to disable tweaks or restore the root file system. Now, if you select this option right here, it says the next time you jailbreak your phone, the root file system will be restored back to the state it was prior to jailbreaking. You can just select OK. And there we have it, guys. It says restore file system. Now, if you guys press this button, it's just going to take a second to restore your file system back to stock iOS, complete stock iOS, that is. It's also going to get rid of all of your snapshots that you created within Snapback. So that's the only reason why I don't use this option. But again, all you have to do is press that button right there and everything will be deleted just like Snapback. The only difference when using Snapback is it will save the snapshots that it created. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much the entire unjailbreak process. Those are pretty much two ways that you can unjailbreak your device and completely remove Cilio and Cydia, all of your jailbreak tweaks and things like that from your device. Again, I probably should have clarified this earlier in this video, but both of these methods are not going to touch your personal files all of your photos, documents, notes, things like that, as well as the third-party applications that you have installed, those are all going to remain perfectly intact. This is only restoring jailbreak-related files. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this quick video. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out. Again, an entire written tutorial is located on our Best Tech Info website if you guys want more information. But that pretty much concludes this video. Thank you all so much for your incredible support. Stay tuned as we have some awesome content coming later this week. Anyway guys, until next time, this is Tony signing out. So first up, let's go ahead and talk about some dark mode tweaks. We have Noctis 12 as well as Dune, which is a free alternative to that. And it makes your dock dark, your control center dark, and your widgets and notifications and things like that. Now, continuing along the lines of dark mode tweaks, we also have Eclipse 12, which again has been updated recently as well to make applications have dark mode. As you guys can see, my settings app is completely dark. This is applicable on other apps as well. Mishuha Infinity adds this awesome music visualizer right here on the lock screen, also within the Spotify as well as the Apple Music applications. So for the next one, let's get rid of that annoying volume HUD. We either have Sonos 12, Ultrasound, or Melior. All three have been updated for A12 support. Right now, I'm currently rocking Sonos 12, which places that volume indicator right there up in the notch right behind the time. 
Next up, I also have floating dock right here at the bottom, which adds the iPad style dock to iPhones. So you can have more than four icons. You also have the recently used icons right here, and you also have gesture controls for multitasking. You can swipe over to the left to pull down the notification center, or you can swipe over to the right to pull down the control center. And lastly, if you swipe down, it pulls up reachability. And right here, I have this tweak called Reach It, which brings the music controls in your reachability area.